In this tutorial, I will show you how to restore the simulation in LMGC90. I will show you demo of granular segregation of non-spherical particles in rotating drum. Therefore, in this tutorial, you will also learn how to create non-spherical binary particles in rotating drum, how to create granular wall of the drum, how to restore the simulation from where you left previously. So, uh, I have already created some script. Uh, if you want to know uh, the mechanism of LMGC code, then you can uh, watch my previous tutorial on LMGC. So, first I will start this script which is used to generate uh, particles as a simulation. So, I will use an atom. Uh, so, let me add this folder. Okay. And this is the sample to generate uh, initial solution of the simulation. So, I have uh, defined a new function deposit in drum 2D. So, uh, this function is used to deposit a particle in a 2D drum. So, this is the uh, name of this function and here is the modified granular wall which I have named granular drum wall. So, this wall is made up of granular particle instead of uh, smooth ring. So, this is how to uh, create this granular drum wall using this uh, function. And these are some uh, codes to create, uh, to define uh, materials and other uh, initial parameters to make a granular drum and fill it with uh, granular particles. So, my granular particles are not uh, spherical, but they are uh, non-spherical. So, you can see here that uh, I have uh, created a rigid polygon and their vertices are three. One are non-spherical and another are spherical's. So, you can see here. So, this is the granular drum wall. So, I will uh, insert all these particles inside this uh, drum and then I will apply a, a velocity on this wall to rotate and these are some uh, particle particle and particle wall interaction. So, you know uh, how to define this. Uh, if you want to know about this function, then you can watch my previous tutorial. Okay. So, these are some uh, post pro commands and in the final, I will write these uh, uh, all data in output directory. So, my output directory name is uh, already defined here. The directory name is first. So, everything will be stored in this first directory and now I will run this uh, script. So, it will generate a granular wall uh, a, a drum made up of granular wall and it will be filled up with binary particles. So, let us run this script python. So, the name of this script is gen sample. So, I will write this and then I will run. So, you can see the output. So, here is output. So, this wall is made up of spherical granular particles and inside uh, this uh, drum 
there are two types of granular particles. Ones are part, uh, non-spherical particles, who these are rectangular particles and spherical particles. Okay, so let us uh, uh, close this file and then next I will run uh, this first run. In this first run, I will only uh, use uh, 1000 uh, steps. Okay, let us save it and then run this command first run. So this is the first run. Okay, so now it is running. So you can see it will generate uh, first and uh, here is the data box and uh, this is the display. You will get a display file uh, which can be visualize using paraview so it this is uh, running uh, when 1000 it, it steps are complete then it will stop after that we will run a uh, next run this file in this file i will make another uh, steps let us suppose I will write here uh, 2000 steps okay so let us wait to finish this uh, simulation first run you see that uh, in this uh, first run I have import a computation so you see here is a computation file so in this computation you have to write these uh, command, these codes uh, to run the computation. Okay, so I have given this uh, H5 file, so it will save uh, all data in this H5 file. So these are all uh, scripting to run the computation. So you see that the computation is complete. Okay, there are 500 uh, iteration, and this is complete. This first run is complete. So we will see in this uh, display file. So you have uh, these uh, display file up to two. So if you want to visualize these, then we can use a para view. Paraview is a software to visualize uh, this simulation. So open granular drum wall first display and this file. So apply. So you will see. Uh, the visualization of the simulation. If you run, it will only run up to two steps, zero and one. Okay, it's a start rotating. So you see there are two types of particle, non-spherical and spherical. So now let us start the restart the simulation from the second step so you see there are uh, we have two visualize file so we will start from third one so how can we do this so i have created another uh, computation so in computation two you have to call this uh, this file so here you see uh, 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 I will call this file which is already saved uh, here in the first folder lmgc90.h5 so I will call this file and 
this is inside the first so I will name it HP so I will read this file and then I will uh, get a number of records and save this in reading straps okay then I will close this file uh, if I cannot find if the Python cannot find find if Python cannot find this file then it can uh, look in another out box directory okay and after that here I will write uh, this re uh, reading strap in read INI here okay and then I will also change the display file name because you know that there are uh, uh, two display file so I will write here three okay here again three and then save and then I will run here next run okay so next run so it will start running and you see that in the next run there are 2000 steps so it will run up to 2000 steps okay now you can see uh, the simulation is finished so now we can see uh, the display file in this display folder it's up to 6 so let us uh, visualize this simulation in para view so you can see choose a parameter me so you see here so in the last time our simulation was up to one so now it's continue from this uh, one up to five so in this way you can restart again and again to continue your simulation using this method okay thank you for watching